tell the story of Lydia Colon, who started her business with a dollar. When she made her first sale, she didn't have any product to deliver. She had to take the customer's money, go get the product, come back and deliver it. But she said, when I figured out how to do that, she said, my ambition soared. Not at the end of the year of some major, huge accomplishment, but just at the end of one struggle with ingenuity to try to figure out, I've showed this person this brochure, they want the products, I've got to tell them my story why I don't have any. I'll get the products, deliver, make a small profit. She figured that out. And she said, just that occasion, which is probably not more than 30, 40 minutes long, and her ambition soared. She just simply said, if I did this once, I can do it again. And then I can do it again. So it doesn't take some huge year-long project of achievement for your ambition to soar or your confidence to catch fire. All it takes is some attention to detail, figure out something, use your ingenuity, let your skill level reach up to meet what ambition you have at the moment, and sure enough, then it all changes. The day you say, I'm going to change my health with my diet and all the rest, and I've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, why not start with an apple? And the day you start with that first apple, your attitude can change, your self-esteem can change, and you can honestly say, I'm on my way. I'm never going to be the same again. I'm not going to walk the old road anymore. I'm going a new way. It just doesn't take much. An apple can do it. Something simple that you commit to and do it, and you can say, I'm starting to make the changes. I posed an interesting question. I said, could a young boy eight, nine years old, buy a bottle of soap for two dollars and sell it for three. They all agreed that yes, he could. Go next door, say, Ms. Brown, I've got this soap, mom use it, it's the best. She says you'll get great results. It's only three dollars. And Ms. Brown says, well, Johnny, I've got plenty of soap. And he says, you better let me come in and check. You don't have to teach kids sales, right? I mean, they're, they're automatic salesmen. But they all agreed that a child could take $2 and buy a bottle of soap and then go sell it for 3 Now I said this poses some interesting questions. Here's the first question. Will he do it? Someone says, well, that remains to be seen. Even if he could, the answer is, will he? And that's true for all of us. We all could, but will we? Hmm. Then I said it poses another question. Should he do it? That's a good debate. So they all agreed that we eliminated whether or not he could and started talking about whether or not he should or whether or not he will, which always remains to be seen. Interesting. It's not a matter of whether or not we can. Average person of average intelligence living in this incredible country can become financially independent in a fairly reasonable amount of time. The question is not whether or not they can, the question is whether or not they will. Then the big question is whether or not they should. And someone says, well, you should if you could, but that doesn't answer everybody's life. It said the sower went out to sow the seed, and sure enough, finally the seed falls on good ground, but some of the good ground produced 30%, some 60%, some 100%. And we say, why is that? Say, well, it seems like that's just the way things are. You say, well, couldn't the ones doing 30%, couldn't they do 100%? Well, maybe they could, but should they or will they? It remains to be seen. Everything after the fact we can always figure out. He could have, but he didn't. You know, we can always figure that out later. He perhaps should have, but he didn't. Someone says, well, sales would never appeal to me, so I couldn't buy a bottle of soap for $2 and sell it for 3 But what if you had to, to support your family? He said, well, I probably could figure out how to do it if I had to. So it's amazing how little money and how easy the answer is to solving problems, earning money, making money, doing better. Everybody can, but not everybody will. So here's what I called it. The magic and the mystery. The magic is you could start at the bottom and go to the top. The mystery is why wouldn't everybody do that?
That's what the storyteller does most of the time, leaves so much to our imagination. I wonder why that is. That's good for conversation. What's unique, though, living in our country, there's so much example everywhere of what ambition can do properly channeled that it hardly leaves anyone with an excuse not to at least maybe try. Or you certainly have to give up on the fact, know that it can't be done, which is not true. It is possible to start with a dollar and become a millionaire. It is possible. It is possible to start with nothing and become something. 